Afternoon all, uh, welcome to Empower Gyms Bromley in shutdown and lockdown, but we're still here to bring you some quality content um, and we're going to start off today with a glutes class. For those of you who know the class, we're going to follow a similar format but just using exercises that you can do at home with no equipment. Make sure that you have a bottle of water at the ready. If you have a workout partner, that would be great as well. <laughs> Um, yeah, and we'll get started with some stretching. So hopefully you've thought ahead and already cleared the space on your floor. Um, yeah, ready? Yeah, ready. So what we're going to do to start off with is just get a little bit of movement gently through our spines. So take a lie on your side, and you want roughly 90 degrees at your hips and 90 degrees at your knees. Lovely. Relax your head, and then we're just going to go one time and bring your top hand over. Follow it with your eyes and breathe and relax. Just for a little bit of time, not too long. And gently bring that back. And then if you swap on to the other side. So right angle at the hips, right angle at the knees. Try and keep your knees together. And again, just one time over. Relax and breathe gently into it. Yeah. So just keep breathing, take it nice and easy. Just getting a little bit of movement into your spines first. Um, and then we'll get some hips warmed up in a second. Cool. From there, we'll go into our first glute stretch to try and open the hips up a little bit. So we're going to take a lie on our backs and cross one leg over the top of the other. We'll give it an extra few seconds and then take both hands, hold onto the back of the uncrossed leg and lay back and pull that stretch on. So you should feel that in the glute of the crossed leg, feel it? Yeah. So you should feel that in the glute, so that's the muscle in your bottom of the crossed leg. So I can feel this in my left. Keep pulling it on, got a few more seconds. And gently relax. And swap sides. So legs over the other way. Again, reach through the middle, take a hold of the back of the uncrossed leg, and lay it back and pull that stretch on. And again, you're going to feel this in the glute, so that's the muscle in your hip, of your crossed leg. So I can now feel this in my right glute. Keep breathing throughout this, just getting warmed up. And just relax. And then finally we're going to do a slightly more challenging one, which is Claire's favourite stretch. So you want to cross one leg in front of you, come up onto your knee, right up onto your knee, and then reach it back and just try and lean over your front leg. So shin across in front of you, Leg reach back and then just lean over into it. This one's a little bit more challenging, but hopefully you'll be okay. If you find this one too hard, go back to the normal glute stretch which we just did, and you'll get a little bit more movement into your hips. Feel okay? Yeah, good. And relax. Swap sides. So, same thing with the other leg and cross. Try and keep your shin across you, up onto the knee. Sit, and then sit back into that stretch and try and lean over over your front foot. Try not to lean over to one side, try and stay relatively central over your front leg. So try and stay in the middle across your front leg, try not to lean over to one side too much. And once this one's over, we'll be almost ready to go. And relax. Sweet. And then we're going to do one more stretch just to open the hips up and then we'll crack on with some proper stuff. So go knees at the back end of your mat. If you're at home not using a mat, <laughs> then go at the back end of the space you've cleared into a lunge and then both hands on the inside of your foot. Try and keep your hips pushed forwards and shoulders back. Think about your posture to the best of your ability. I'm just going to hold that for a little bit of time. So you'll either feel it in the front of your back leg, in the inside of your front leg, or maybe both. 
and gently back. So back to both knees, same thing on the other side, into a lunge, reasonable distance on the lunge, both hands down on the inside of the foot, and hips down, shoulders back and chest out. Don't crane your neck, so keep your chin down, but shoulders back so your back is nice and flat. And again, we'll give that a little bit of time, and then we will be ready to go. Sweet, cool. So we're ready to start. Um, if you want to grab a drink of water, do that now. And then we'll crack on. So we're going to start off with three exercises. We're going to go through a split squat, which is going to be quite challenging, um, into some glute bridges and into some normal body weight squats. So again, as I said at the start, don't need any equipment for this. Just a bit of enthusiasm and uh, we'll get some hard work done. <laughs> so I'll demonstrate first and then we'll give you 30 seconds to warm up and we'll crack on. So your split squat to begin with, start at the front of your space, reach back with one leg like so, use your arms to balance you and we're going to try and go straight up and straight down like so. I'm doing all on one side and after a little bit of time I'll tell you to swap, we'll come to the front and reach it back balance and straight up and down. Try not to come forwards and backwards on this one. Straight down, straight back up to the top. So we're gonna have a 30 second warm up with that one. Are you ready? So split your legs and begin. Go for it. Nice. So try and hold your core nice and tight if you can. You don't want your back to arch inwards and straight up and down. So just getting warmed up and relax there, swap sides, so 30 second warm up, 15 on each side to begin with, and begin, 15 seconds that is, not 15 reps, don't worry. You'll probably get 3, 4, 5 done on each side in the time, not too many, so try not to come forward too much, try and keep a little weight, there you go, good, a little bit of weight in back leg as well, and relax, cool. From there we're going to move into our glute bridges, so you want to be on your back, feet quite close to each other and quite close to your hips, they don't want to be split and reached apart, close to each other, close to hips, hands are going to go across your chest if that's comfortable, try and keep your core engaged and you're going to push hips nice and high up in the air, really consciously squeeze your glutes and then back down to the floor, up to the top back down to the floor. Don't rush this one, but the less time you spend on the floor, the better. Ready? Yep. So have a lie on your back, feet quite close to each other and quite close to your hips. Keep your knees apart slightly and you're going to get more engagement in your glutes. Hands across chest and begin. Go ahead. So for this one we're running through 30 seconds. Good. Really nice height on there. Just keep your knees a tiny bit further apart, feet the same, there you go, good. So at home if you can feel your knees coming in, just push your knees a little bit further away from each other and you'll get more engagement in your glutes, which is why we're here. We've got 10 seconds left to go. Good, look strong, probably time for one or two more reps, almost there. And rest. Feel okay? Yeah, good. Feel okay? Like yeah. Me? <laughs> um, and from there we're going to go into some normal body weight squats and we'll see how we go. So normal squats, you can go whatever orientation you like. We want to be just a little bit wider than hip width with your feet. Not excessively wide, not put too close together, somewhere in the middle. Make sure your heels stay down, drive your knees wide and you want to think about sitting into the movement. So like so. Knees nice and wide, hips back, stand at the top, and at the top, squeeze glutes, squeeze core. So wide knees, heels down, stand and squeeze glutes, squeeze core. Ready for 30 seconds of squats? So feet at a neutral width, that looks pretty good. Ready? Yep. And begin, go ahead. Good, so nice wide knees, 
Heels are staying planted all the way through these. And at the top, you want to squeeze glute, squeeze your core as well. So again, don't arch your back at the top, hold your tummy in, hold your tummy in. 15 seconds done, 15 left to go, but this is just our warm up, and then we're going to get cracking properly in a moment. Looks pretty good, right? Hopefully yours look the same. Knees wide, knees wide, knees wide. And rest. Cool. Take a couple of seconds. So we have got split squats first, glute bridges second, and normal squats third. And we're going to run through those beginning at 60 seconds of each, into 50, into 40, and then we're going to switch it up. Ready? So this will be 60 seconds of each. With our split squats, that's going to be 30 on each side. 30 seconds on each side. So start at the beginning, one foot back. Take a second to get your balance and begin. Go ahead. So straight up and straight back down again. Really try and avoid coming forward and backwards. Straight down, straight up to the top. The more you can hold your core in the best. So again at the top, don't let your tummy push out. Hold in strong. Halfway through and then we're going to swap legs, so you should still be on the same leg. Remember this is all on one side and then all on the other. Not too far left, looking good high. Almost there, go for your last rep. And there's time. Good. Swap legs. Again, take a second and just get your balance on your other leg. And begin. So we've got 30 seconds on the clock, this is 30 on each side. Looks good. And again, we're coming straight up and straight down. Avoid that forward and backwards movement. Doing well. We're just over halfway through. This is our first working round. You've got 10 seconds left. Keep moving. Keep your core nice and strong. Make sure you go right to the end. Don't anticipate it. Rest. Good. So from there, we're going to be onto our backs for glute bridges. So feet nice and close to each other, nice and close to your hips. Knees slightly apart, hands across, ready high? Yeah. And begin, go ahead. So hold your core nice and strong, push to the top and squeeze, and back down. At the top, think about again, not pushing your tummy out, but you want to push your hips up. So all of the movement here is coming from your glutes, muscles right here, push up and through, hold your core strong, this one's a full 60 seconds, so keep it moving. Remember, the less time you spend sitting on the floor doing nothing, the better. Good, looks good. Breathing wise, don't worry too much about when you breathe in and out. Just keep breathing all the way through these ones, all the way through. So knees are staying nice and wide, heels staying planted. Just have 15 seconds left, you're almost there. Keep it moving. Last 10 seconds to go, last 10 seconds. Hold your core tight, arms across chest, really squeeze at the top for the last couple of reps. Almost there, rest. Good, all cool? Yeah, good. Up we come for squats, so up off the floor. Remember we want heels nice and planted, knees really wide. Get as low as you can, as long as your posture stays good. And squeeze glutes, squeeze core at the top, and Begin, go ahead. Good, so nice wide knees. The quicker you move through this, the more reps you're gonna get done, so the harder it's gonna be. If you're really feeling this already and it's challenging, just slow your tempo down a little bit. You can take a second to pause at the top if you want to. For as long as possible, drive wide, squeeze at the top. Drive wide, keep those heels down, squeeze at the top. Go at the right speed for you. That's why we're going for time, not for reps, so it's right for you. 30 seconds done, so 30 left to go. We are halfway through. Good, doing well. So drive wide, heels really planted, and squeeze at the top. 15 seconds left from now, 15 seconds to go. So keep heels planted, drive the knees wide. Keep breathing all the way through. If you can breathe in on the way down, out on the way up, that's ideal. We've only got a couple of seconds left now. And time, rest there. Good. Going to take 60 seconds on the clock to rest. Take it nice and easy. Have some water. 
Cut your breath if you need to. Shake it out of your legs if you need to. Oh, I'm not even working hard, I might need a drink, so <laughs> make sure you have some. <laughs> Um, as always, if you have any questions about what we do, usually we'd be down in the studio, we can answer them as they are. But if you've got any questions, then pop a comment on now. So whether you're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're watching us, pop a comment on and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If it's a question about breathing, technique, um, heels, knees, how to squeeze your glutes in the first place, just ask us and we'll let you know. Got 10 seconds left from your rest, so if you decided to have a sit down, stand up now, Laura. <laughs> and again, we're going to go through split squats to begin with. So back we go to one side, and again, this one's 25 seconds on each side, so it's a little bit less time, and we'll see how we go. Try and keep your leading heel really planted on this. So the less you can get your weight in your toe, and the more you can get your weight in your front heel, the better. That's going to really help you to come straight up and straight back down. Straight up and down. Keep that leading heel nice and planted, and rest there. Back to the middle, and swap sides. Ready? Swap it over, catch your balance, and begin. Good. So again, leading heel nice and planted. Be a decent distance on the way back and straight down, straight back up to the top here. Hold your core nice and strong so that at the top you don't push your tummy out. Hold in strong. Got less than 10 seconds. Almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Rest. Glute bridges. So have a lay on your back. Feet nice and close to each other. Feet nice and close to your hips. Hands across chest and knees slightly apart, and begin. So we've got 50 seconds on the clock, a little bit shorter than the last time. Hold in tight, push and squeeze at the top. If you want to give it a brief pause at the top, that's cool. But again, try not to rest for too long. The longer you're here, you're just laying on your back. So keep knees out, push and squeeze, and back down to the bottom. Push and squeeze. Doing good, how are we looking? Halfway through, you've got 25 seconds left to go. Keep it moving, hold your core in nice and tight. This is one of the easy things to accidentally cheat on, is to push your tummy out rather than pushing your hips up. So focus on pushing hips up and really consciously squeeze the top. Less than 10 seconds. Nearly there. And rest. Good work. Doing okay? Yeah. Doing okay? Hope so. Squat position with the feet, so medium width. Drive the knees wide, keep those heels planted. And begin, go ahead. Yeah, nice. Again, go at your own speed. You'll know from the last round what speed is right for you. As long as it stays reasonably challenging, then happy days. Use your arms to balance, I suggest. And then squeeze at the top. The closer you keep your hands to, the more likely you are to hunch over in your squat. So this can often help with posture and keeping your back nice and straight. So my suggestion is arms relatively straight and then give them a rest at the top. So use them to balance, rest up at the top, but squeeze glutes, squeeze core. Got 15 seconds left, not too far off. Keep those knees wide, keep your heels really planted. Almost there, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Time for the last one. Rest. Nice. Rest on the clock. Again, catch your breath. We've got a little bit shorter rest because we did a little bit less work. I think that's fair. <laughs> so we've done our 60 second round. We've done our 50 second round. And the last one coming up is gonna be 40 seconds. So that's gonna be 20 on each leg for your split squats. It's gonna be the full 40 seconds for glute bridges and the full 40 for normal squats. Got about 20 seconds until we begin. So if you're sitting on the floor, I suggest you have a stand up now. <laughs> have a stand up now. Get yourself into your space. You've got about 10 seconds until we begin. So we wanna start moving into that lunge now. Keep your balance and 
begin. So straight down, straight up. Keep that leading heel nice and planted. Get tall at the top, but keep your core strong. So tall at the top, but keep your core strong. And again, this is 20 seconds on each side. It's not too long. Keep that leading heel planted. Just a couple until we swap. And time. Good, swap legs. And begin. Let's go. Enough time to swap over. So again, keep that leading heel planted. Body straight down, straight back up again, up at the top. Doing good. Halfway through already, That's the last one. Keep that heel planted. Don't lean forwards too much, we're almost there. Good. Almost there. Rest. Down for glute bridges. Last time through these. Feet nice and close to each other, close to your hips, knees slightly apart, hands across, and begin. So up to the top, and then bring it down. Hold your tummy in. So squeeze your glutes, really focus and squeeze, and back down to the bottom. 40 of each one to finish off. You're almost halfway through already, and there's 20 seconds done, 20 left to go. Keep breathing all the way through these. Again, plant those heels, keep your knees pushed out, and squeeze up at the top, really focus. Got less than 10 seconds to go, nearly there. Keep breathing, keep it moving. And rest. Hopefully you got that last one in and didn't cheat. Up we come for squats to finish it off. So gonna be heels nice and planted, driving the knees nice and wide. Ready? And begin. So use your arms to balance and squeeze up at the top. Knees nice and wide, heels really planted. Use your arms to balance. Squeeze core, squeeze glutes. So we want to be really locked in and supported all the way around the midsection. Again, this is our shortest round by the warm up, which we all know the warm up doesn't count, it's just a warm up. <laughs> so 15 seconds left from now, 15 seconds left to go. Keep it moving, drive the knees wide, keep your heels nice and planted. Got less than 10 seconds. Doing well. Almost there, get the last one, and time. Nice, cool. Bit of rest on the clock. Let's start off, have a little bit of water, take some hydration on. Especially because it's actually sunny today. Yeah. I wonder if anyone's in their garden. Hmm. If you're in your garden doing this, <laughs> then A, nice, <laughs> B, let us know, that'd be quite cool. <laughs> So we've got two exercises as a pair to finish it off now. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through standard lunges, backwards, and then we're gonna go through some reverse planks, which might be new to some of you, might be familiar to some of you. Um, anyway, demo of lunges. Use your arms to balance you if you want to, do whatever works for you. Reasonable distance on the way back, and if you can, touch your back knee just gently to the floor, and then stand up and same on the other leg, so we're swapping legs each time. Bring it back, touch the knee gently up to the top. Ideally, we want one smooth movement down, one smooth movement up. If that's a bit challenging, you can take a brief pause to get your balance, and then up to the top. But ideally, one back, one up. Depends on how you personally find things. Second exercise is a reverse plank. So you're going to have the knee on your back, hands across chest, toes pointed up to the ceiling, knees slightly apart, and lift and hold. Doesn't need to be miles off the floor, so I've only got a couple of inches off the ground. Hold your core in, hold your body up nice and strong, okay? The straighter your legs are, the harder this is. So if you're finding it challenging, have a bit less bend in your legs, if you want to go for it. Go a little bit straighter. Find what works for you. We're not gonna be holding those for too long because they're quite challenging. And we're gonna go through these three times and then we're done. Ready for lunges? Yeah, let's do it. So have a stand up in front. Remember, lunges are going backwards. And begin, go ahead. Distance on the way back, up toward the top. And again, ideally, 
One smooth movement back, one smooth movement up, but do what's right for you and your ability. Keep your front heel planted. The more the weight is in your front toe, the more unstable your ankle will be. Plant the heel and push up really deliberately through your heel and you'll get more coming in from the hips. So front heel planted and up to the top. Just got 10 seconds left. Doing good. Last couple of seconds. Don't time it, go until I say. And finish that one off and rest. Good. Ready for reverse planks? Yeah, give it a shot. Ready for reverse planks? So onto your back on the floor. Toes pointed right up to the ceiling. Feet are quite close together, knees apart, hands across chest, and we're going to lift and hold. Ready? And lift. Good. Pull your toes up. So look at my feet. Look at my feet. Oh. So like this. Yeah. There. So again, look at my feet, not pointed down. Pull them up. For less than 10 seconds. Hold it strong. Just stay still. You're going to really feel that. And rest. Good? Yeah. Still like that. Challenging exercise? Yeah. For those of you who come to glutes class, you already know that one. <laughs> um, and for those of you who haven't been before or for a while, then that'll be a new one. A little bit of water. We're on to the home stretch now. The good thing about that is there's not too much exercise left to go. The other really good thing about that is that your rest is not too long. So we've got 10 seconds until we begin again on the lunges. A little bit short this time. Ready, three, two, one, begin lunges. So reach it back and up to the top. Keep that front heel planted and up we go. So distance on the way back. Gently touch your knee if you can. If you have any knee pain, then you might want to just slightly limit your depth, but do what you can. If you're able to, touch the knee. Got any knee pain, just take it and limit your depth very slightly. 10 seconds left. Looks good, remember, plant that front heel into the ground. Almost there. And there's time, finish that one off. Reverse planks, ready? So one, two backs. Remember, the straighter your legs go, the harder this is. So if that last one was easy, legs straighter. If it was super hard, bend them a little bit more. If it was just right, same angles. Toes right up into the air, hands across and lift. We've got a little bit more time on the clock this time. So the last one was 20 seconds. This one we're going for 25. There's 10 done. 15 left to go, 15 seconds left to go. Less than 10 seconds. And after this, we've just got one more time. Hold your core strong, the back of your legs are gonna be burning up. Rest. A little bit of time on the clock. Doing okay? Yeah. Good, have a seat, grab a drink if you want to. Got one more time left to go. And again, the rest isn't too long on here. Got about 15 seconds until we begin, so if you're sat on the floor like me, have a stand up like I. <laughs> ready to go. 10 seconds until we begin. This will be 30 seconds of lunges, 30 seconds of first planks. We out of here. Ready? Two, one, begin. So all the way back, gently touch that knee, stand and swap legs. So unlike the first exercise we did today, we're swapping legs each time here. Keep that leading heel planted, gently touch the knee, and smoothly up and through. 15 done, 15 left to go. Looking good, keep that front heel planted, distance on the way back, gently touch the knee. Take it at your pace, you're almost there. And rest. Reverse plank for the last time, you ready? This is going to be 30 seconds, it's going to be pretty challenging. Again, straight your legs are the harder it is, so find the right distance for you at home. Knees apart slightly. And lift. The first one of these we did was 20 seconds. The second one we did was 25. And this last one is 30. 10 done, 20 left to go. Hold your core tight, 
We don't have to be miles off the floor. Just a few inches off the ground is good. 20 seconds done, you've got 10 seconds left. Hold it strong, hold it strong. Almost there. Rest, yeah. If you have a workout partner, don't high five them because social distancing, but you can give each other a respectful nod. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that'll conclude our first, yeah, our first online class. Thank you for joining in. If you made it all the way to the end, good effort, well done. Um, again, if you have any questions for myself or my wonderful colleague Hi, let us know in the comments, give us a shout, um, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Um, and in the meantime, the show must go on. Have a lovely day and good effort on the class, well done.